Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video, and um, today I want to I want to do something a little different here. Now that uh, Toonami Rewind debuted or whatever, the quote unquote nostalgia vibes when it fucking isn't. Um, you know, uh, it's not. They do bumpers for like when apparently, uh, you know, when I was a kid in 1999. They're trying to say, well, this is how it was. It's like, no, it wasn't. That's not how it was. The OG DBZ was not like that. Sailor Moon was not like that. Uh, and Naruto, obviously, they, they had the censored version, but that was later in the in the in the, the mid two thousands. But you know, you know, with the whole marketing campaign, you know, they're trying to they're they're trying to please to my fan base. From the Cartoon Network to Nami, but they obviously aren't, um, because I was a '90s kid, so I actually can have a say in this because this was my childhood. Okay, um, so yeah, um, that's my point on that. But we're gonna do something different here. See now with the new Viz dub, Viz Media dub, Sailor Moon. Um, dub debuting on television which I still believe they should have just done it on regular Toonami since this is a new dub that they're showing they never showed this dub before on Toonami um, but uh, that's that's my point but now since they're doing this on TV I wanted to bring up a discussion and, and don't get me wrong the old Sailor Moon dub as we all know hasn't aged well because of the bad censorships and some of the relationships that they changed and whatnot. Um, all bad, by the way. Um, nothing against the voice actors. I, I prefer the original voice actors. Uh, I wish they could have gotten a chance to, to do the new dub. Um, but, um, I really wish, because there were a lot of things the new dub did that the old dub did better, even though the old dub wasn't great with a lot of some of the dialogues and the censorships and stuff like that. But there were some things that the old Sailor Moon dub did better than the new dub did. Um, and one of the things that they did better, um, and by the way, just to clarify, I am going to be using their English dub names. Um, People still call people Ash Ketchum. They still go by the Yu-Gi-Oh! localized names, Astro Boy. So, it's all fair game. So, um, Darian um, and Serena's first interaction in the uh, Sailor Moon dub, in the new one, uh, which I already knew this. So, I mean, this is this is old, obviously. I mean, this... They 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 started working on the uh, on the new dub like back in 2014. For anybody who didn't know, uh, that are just that are just seeing this now a decade later. Uh, unfortunately, sorry guys, it's this is a decade old dub, um, which is just crazy. By the way, that it's already been 10 years. Um, you know, time goes by way too quickly, guys. But yeah, 10 years this dub's been around, um, which is insane. Um, that's crazy that it, it just got on TV now. It's been on Hulu for all these years, for anybody who didn't know. Um, yeah, that's where it's been, basically. Um, so, anyways, one of the things that I liked that the old dub did that the new dub decided to not do uh, was change Meatball Head to Bun Head. Now, I know there's been discussions within the fandom for years about whether the translation is meatball head, bun head, dumble head. I think it was dundle head or something like that. There's been debates on that for years on what the actual proper translation in Japan is um, for the Japanese dub. However, to me, I think they should have went with meatball head. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I, I obviously like the old dub and that was one of the things that I thought the old dub did right um but I, I genuinely think Meatball Head was a better thing for Darian to say to Serena um and this is something I wish they would have kept in the Viz Media dub 
Um, Bunhead to me, I mean, is that really an insult? Like the the whole and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up like I'm gonna do like a clip comparison because I have the clips here, um, for this scene, but. I'm I'm gonna bring this up right now just to show you guys. Um, it, it should be good, but it's just a clip. Um, hold on. I wanna bring this up. Okay, so I have both of them right here. I got the Viz and I got the Deke. So we're gonna show the Deke. Um, this is Tracy. Uh, here. So here we go. Th this is the original English dub version scene. Okay. Oh no, how can I tell mom I flunked another test? Ugh, how can I show her this see thing? This, see this? She's mad about the grade. <clears throat> hey, watch it, meatball head. Huh? Oh, sorry. A 30? Admirable. No! Are you stupid or just incredibly lazy? Huh, how yeah, dare see, you see, give me that? See how that's an huh, insult right about there? that guy. What a total jerk calling me a meatball head still. Okay. He sure is cute. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay, so now that was the Deke dub, where she, she is insulted with Meatball Head. Um, now this is the new Viz Media dub. And I kind of, because I couldn't find any other one, this is uh, Viz Media's dub. Brought up the 10 seconds here so we can get a fair chance if on it. If only I had studied a little more. Okay. <laughs> Watch where you're throwing things, bunhead. Uh, sorry. Thirty okay. percent. <laughs> Looks to me like you better study harder next time, bunhead. <laughs> well, that's none of your business. <laughs> okay. See now, like. Stupid jerk in his purple pleated pants. Okay. What a weirdo. That's another thing too. That okay. Anyways, so. Okay, so those were the two dubs. Now, try to just ignore comparing the voice acting here, um, because that's not the point of this this video. Um, the point of this video is to compare uh, the, the 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 meatball head to the bun head. Um, meatball head, especially in the '90s, and I'm a '90s kid, so I think I would kind of have better knowledge of this since I lived it as a kid of what insults were viewed as. Meatball head has more weight than Bunhead as an insult. And that's why it became a joke throughout the series uh, when Darian used to always call Serena Meatballhead. As we all know, in the first season of Sailor Moon, they didn't like each other. You know, uh, Darian thought Serena was stupid and, you know, just, you know, obviously that was their first interaction. So he didn't really think anything of her. And the same thing with Serena, um, you know, because they didn't know, they didn't, they, she didn't, he didn't know that she was Sailor Moon, and Sailor Moon didn't know that she was tuck, he was Tuxedo Mask until towards the end of the season. So, Meatball Head to me is a better, it is a better take on the insult than Bunhead because obviously Sailor Moon or Serena, she obviously she intentionally makes herself with buns like she intentionally does that so so how is that really an insult how is that really an insult um it doesn't to me hold as much weight as meatball head and this is why i wish the the uh the new dub had done this i think they could have done meatball head and still gotten the same uh thing that they wanted to go with you know the 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 new script and whatnot um, now, obviously, if you look at one of the changes, obviously, there was kind of the whole cute thing, you know, and she was like, instead, at the end, she's like, what a weirdo, uh, in the new one. So there is kind of a little different change tones in the scenes. But nonetheless, I think Meatball Head, if you put Meatball Head in there, it still holds a lot of weight because it is more of an insult um, than Bun Head, I think, is. I think it holds more weight. And I think this is, uh, like, something that I think they could have done in the Viz dub. And it still would have gotten what they were trying to get out of it. Um, now, also comparing the scene, 
as you could see, the old dub actually had more background music going in, which I thought actually made the scene better. Uh, I don't think the silence was as good for this scene. Now, again, this is just more of a me kind of preferring music playing a lot. Um, uh, certain scenes don't need music in it, and this was kind of the thing with Dragon Ball Z that a lot of people didn't like the Bruce Falconer score for uh, was because there was music playing at all times, which was not Falconer's fault. That was Funimation's fault. Um, but... I think for this scene, the music, I felt like was better. Um, again, we're kind of comparing everything else, looking at that scene specifically. Um, and um, I don't know. I, I, I would like to know what other people's thoughts are on this. I think Meatball Head fit better for this scene. I think Meatball Head fits better than Bun Head. Uh, I think Bunhead is not really an insult as much. Um, I would like, if there's any um, women that are watching this, I would like to get their opinion on this too because I just think, I don't know. In the 90s, it felt like Bunhead was more of an insult. I, I you know, And I lived through the 90s, so I think I would know this a little better. You know, saying something, naming, naming you after a food product to me, holds more weight than naming yourself after, like, what you actually put yourself in the hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, she actually, you know, intentionally makes herself have buns, you know, for because she has long hair. So, I don't know. I would like to know what other people's opinion is on this. I think from a, uh, from a character standpoint and for the time period, because this did take place in the 90s, obviously, um... So maybe this reference is kind of a little dated compared to today's society, but at least back then, I think Meatball Head fits. I really wish they could have kept it. I don't know what the decision-making was, like if this was just Viz's go, or I don't know if this Japanese were taking direction on this, but I think um, I think they should have let Meatball Head. If, if anything, I think Meatball Head should have stayed in the script. I think they should have somehow made it work even with the new modern script. Uh, and I still think it would have... I think it still would have held weight even with the, the new writing and the new script that they were going for here uh, for Serena and Darian. Um, uh, but anyways, um, that's my thoughts on this. Also, just on a side, uh, side thing, um, since we, we have this up right here, um, do you guys prefer the old logo over the new logo for Sailor Moon? Because looking at this right now, uh, I prefer the old logo over the new logo. I think the new logo just kind of looks really too, too colorly, too wonky, you know, and not as simple. Um, I think the Sailor Moon one with the moon, I just think that one looks better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think though. I, I want to know. I want to know what people think on this one. I want to know. I genuinely want to know what people's opinions on this one because I really feel that Meatball Head should have stayed in this one. Of all the things that they they changed in the new dub, these are one of the things that I think the old dub definitely did better was Meatball Head over Bun Head or Dumpling Head. Um, I think Meatball Head definitely was the better was the better choice, and I really. Th feel like i really wish viz had kept it uh as meatball head uh let me know what you guys think comment rate if you like this video my viz please subscribe hit the notification bell for our latest content and uh yeah that is about it i am the yes ultimate goku and i'm out of here peace also make sure youtube channel the yes ultimate goku Follow me on the uh, Twitch, the Assault Ultimate Goku. Follow me on the Instagram. And I do have a Discord link where we do discuss a lots of various topics, including this one right here, too, in more depth. So, yeah, go there. And now I'm out. Peace.